have been following the channel this week you will know we are making some really good progress with the EG Civic. So we have got the conversion done from automatic to manual, we've got the hybrid racing shifter on, we have got the back hubs on, the EK9 hubs, the DC2 brakes, the Maestro R's and the D2 LCA's. We have got that all fitted. So we're doing really, really well and today we are going to be doing the front hubs. Um, I hope it's going to be as easy as the back ones were. I don't know how it's going to go, but that's what we're doing today. We're going to get stuck in, try and get them done. And once we have that done, that is the most of the hard things done. And then it's on to getting the fuel tank in, getting the lines ran, and then moving on to getting the engine to go out of the EP. On the front, we have obviously got the Buddy Club camber arms, which I did show you guys in the video yesterday. So it'll be interesting to see how easy it is to do the front. I'm hoping it's a matter of taking off and changing over. But we do want to take some of the better parts off the subframe and change it over. We were talking about changing the subframe over from the one in the EG to this other one but we're just not doing that now. It's just going to be too much and I don't really know if we have the mechanical knowledge to do it. We probably do but to make life a whole lot easier for the time being we're going to just take some parts off and get them in. But I'll show you guys what we're doing as we go through as always. So we're just going to go and get stuck in now and uh, see if we can get it done today before it gets dark. <laughs> So we're pretty much just doing the same on the front as we did on the back yesterday. Taking out the front suspension, the arms, the hub, the driver's side. But it's pretty much the same on both sides anyway, as you guys know. So we have got some big boy Brembos. These are off a Ferrari 45E, I want to say. What Ferrari are these off? Apparently. Uh, we've got some floating discs, RP longer studs in this as well. And as you can see, there are two piece discs, some hell braided lines. And uh, we have got the Buddy Club P1 camber arms. And as you can see, someone has painted them in purple already. Yeah, I'm just gonna get them cleaned up quickly before we put them in the car, get them as nice and clean as I possibly can. Try and get this thing going. All the suspension is now off and we have just got the track rod end to get off. I'm going to give this a little bit of a paint before we go ahead and put the rest on. Everything has been so easy to get off so we're assuming the guy who had this before us had everything off already. So we got the Meister R in the passenger side. My painting wasn't great, but I'll touch it up again. I'm not gonna bother with it right now. And move on to the next part. So we've got the camber arms on and the hub on. Case what build, roll, copper grease, everything. So one side complete, now we're going to move on to the driver's side, see if we can get it done today. Hopefully it should be as straightforward as this was. So everything off, now to give a quick coat of paint. Is that not the best paint job I've ever seen? Five minutes.
is the driver's side wand on as well. Straightforward, very simple. Although it wasn't so bad because we had everything already connected. It would have been worse if we had to start from scratch, but it wasn't too bad. Those are some big boy brakes. So guys, that just brings us to the end of the video. I always feel like when I start these videos, I have just got up, got my makeup on, ready to go for the day. And then by the time I get the videos finished, I look like a hobo. Um, my makeup is just off and everything. So yeah, I'm really dirty. So I always feel like that. But that just brings us to the end of the video today, guys. As you guys can see, we have got the hubs on, we have got the camera arms in, and we have got some bricks. So that is pretty much the suspension side of things done, which is really, really good. That is another big thing ticked off the list. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how easy it actually was. Hopefully everything else is going to be as easy as that, fingers crossed, it probably won't be. But I'm really excited to keep going with this build. Next on the list is to start getting the fuel system sort of in, get the fuel tank in, the fuel lines running, things like that. That is going to be a hard task. Don't think the tank that we have is going to fit. We have got the standard one, but then I want to run my hybrid racing lines. So I don't know, we'll have to work that out when we get to it. But that is probably the next thing that we have to work out. Uh, and then it will be on to starting to get the engine to go out, starting to get things mocked up in the engine bay and all that sort of good stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the daily uploads at the minute. Uh, it is kind of fun. So guys, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big like. Let me know what you guys thought of today's video in the comments below. Some of you guys were asking me yesterday where the bricks off a of Ferrari. Yes, they are. They're off a of Ferrari 458, apparently from the guy I bought them from. Um, some of you guys were saying they were like DC5 Evo sort of bricks. They are not, they're a lot bigger than the DC5 Brembos. Uh, I can tell you that now. We have got the Type R wheels on over them, so it does fit. We've got some spacers on to help with fitting over the top of them big brakes. Don't know what wheels I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna be very limited for choice, I think, with the size of these brakes. So guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of today's video. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. It does help me out in the algorithm a lot. So as always, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.